Milwaukee batteries. I have them. They love to die on you. What can we do about it? This is Daniel with Advanced Device Repair here, and today, I'm on the bench, we got a dead Milwaukee battery. Now I've already removed the uh, four Torx T9H fasteners from this guy and got a look at this. As you can tell, she's not quite factory stiff. If you look at our cell voltages here. 2.336, this is supposed to be 20, 3, so, uh, oh, this one's looking pretty dang dead. What can I say? She's, uh, she's seen better days. I'm gonna refurbish this sucker. So we've got our, uh, our tack welds here four per cell. They're pretty deep, high head pressure tack welds. I don't know if they're necessarily deep, but they're high head pressure. They're divoted in, which makes them pretty hard to just snap off. And the tolerances on these cases are extremely tight. So if you don't get them, like you got what? You got like 0.25 millimeters of tolerance on that bend. And that's a really tight 90 and it's tabbed in too. these little plastic tabs so i'd like to not remove the nickel from this um these batteries use uh nickel coated copper tabs actually i'd like to just remove the cells and how do we go about doing that well you have basically two options you could drill it or drill it or you could grind it or drill it or you could uh do as we're gonna do and uh drill it with fucking lasers because I can. Yeah, as fun as laser drilling this out sounds, uh it's kinda hard to hit the fucking tack welds. Back to the bench. Hey, now I can see. So yeah, uh, that weld is fucking gone. <laughs> Sweet. The freaking laser uh, <laughs> welded it on more. So here I am, back at square one, using a rotary tool. A Milwaukee brand one specifically. I'm using a Milwaukee tool to fix a Milwaukee tool battery. So, uh, this this works. Just be careful. If this guy's charged, you could start a fire. And that that's bad. As fun as it sounds.
no other way around. I want this one that big, and I want this, this one little. <laughs> Confidential, proprietary, first result on Google. <laughs> I love that. Minimum capacity? What do you mean? Uh, that I, I'm sure this has less than a thousand four hundred fifty freaking milliamps. <laughs> Charging method: constant current and constant voltage. Okay. Yeah, it's eighteen by six fifty. <laughs> I wonder why they call them eighteen six fifties. All right, so uh, six of these little suckers from anywhere uh, that doesn't have like a 50 to 500 order minimum is uh, about 80, 90 bucks. But am I gonna go buy a new one of these? Hell no, I got this out of the trash. $4.50, like 20 S's, right? It's an SDI battery. So it's it's made for running tools. Four dollars. Four dollars versus twelve dollars. Yeah, fuck that. I'll buy those. We're gonna convert this from 15M to 25S. Oh, I had to jump back in here because um, this company is based. You see this box? Email me with spam and garbage. It is off by default. I will shop here at 18650 Battery Store. All right, I ordered the uh, ordered the bats. Back to it. I may have lost the footage of me attaching the plates to the, the tabs to the battery pack thing, but uh, just just pretend you watched me pack weld for like a minute and 30 seconds there. Alright, welcome back. So we got our, uh, our battery cells in today. What the heck? Well, they sent me a... A promotional uh, flashlight. That's cool. Alright, so when we left off, we had tacked up uh, plates onto our board and nickel tabs. I bought a bunch of batteries.
There we go. That there is noise reduction off. Oh yeah, screwdriver sounds. Nothing on there. I'm gonna have to activate the Red Link protocol for it to actually sense the uh, state of charge. Alrighty, moment of truth, guys. Charging. Let's go. And that's right, guys. Uh, this busted uh Milwaukee battery is officially charging. Now, uh, was this worth it? Eh, maybe, maybe not. I'm certainly going to do it again. Actually, how many cells do I got here? I could do another one of these. I got another one of these that needs done. One minor adjustment we do need to make, though. Yeah, 2.5 amp hour battery. So that was uh, refurbishing our Milwaukee M18 battery here. Once this charges, we'll give it a test out here.